Covering a greenhouse structure with plastic is no small undertaking. In fact, it's quite an orchestrated event. The first thing that's required is great weather. This is not something that you can do when it's windy outside. So we checked the weather forecast, saw that it was going to be a nice clear day, and got on the phone. We want to have, say a big thank you to our four volunteers, Janice, Craig, Jake, and Ben, for showing up, because without them, we certainly couldn't have done this by ourselves. It all starts by raising the plastic over the top of the frame. We're using a six mil plastic here. It's going over a 20 by 48 foot frame that Kurt installed last week. This is gonna be a cold frame. We're gonna use this to house our transplants and harden them off before we put them out into the field. As you can see, our volunteers simply pull it carefully over the frame. And when it gets stuck, Farmer Kurt had the great idea to use a simple push broom and push it over the skeletal ribs of that structure. The volunteers carefully pull it so that the plastic doesn't tear. And eventually, after about 10 minutes, the entire structure is covered. Then we carefully cut the plastic off the roll and we have to secure it now to the structure with something called wiggle wire. And I'll let Kurt explain how that works. Hi, right now we're wiggle wiring our end of our high tunnel, our hoop house here. What we're doing, there's, there's aluminum channel here that this wiggle wire fits into and it secures the poly to the frame. So you sort of zigzag it back and forth like that and it'll hold that poly in nice and tight. Installing the wiggle wire is definitely a two-person job. While one person is putting the wire into the channel, the second person is holding the plastic taut. This keeps the greenhouse from becoming slack, and at the end, we have a nice, tight greenhouse covering. Meanwhile, there are people stationed on both sides of the greenhouse that are holding the plastic down while the wiggle wire is installed. After the ends are put in, the wiggle wire is also installed along the bottom of both sides of the greenhouse structure. And 45 minutes later, our finished product. Many thanks to Janice, Craig, Jake, and Ben for their help installing, and for John Bergman, our neighbor, who gave us his tractor to borrow for the day. To see more videos like this, please visit our YouTube channel under Shared Legacy Farms.